Hi everyone, welcome to Royal Logos. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, we will design a modern and playful logo design. So first of all, let's continue with the design brief. And after going through this brief, I have extracted these major points. First of all, we have the brand name, which is Groovy Drinks. And about the services, they are providing refreshing drinks and snacks. And about the design idea, the client says, the design should somehow capture the vibe of a beach without using a typical beach hut or umbrella. And the colors should be playful, bright and vibrant shades of blues and greens. And for the typography, bold serif fonts are required. So by keeping these points in mind, let's continue with the sketching process. And for the sketching process, I am going to use two lead pencils, 4H and 3B. And now let's vectorize our sketch in Adobe Illustrator. First of all, go to File and select New. Select the units to pixels, select the width to 1920 and height to 1080 pixels. Then in the Advanced menu, simply select the color mode to RGB. First of all, we will place our sketch on this artboard. So go to File and select Place. Then reduce its opacity to 30%. We will design our logo in different layers. That's why we need the layer menu. So go to windows and select layers. And simply drag this layer panel at the bottom like this. Then change this image layer to sketch. Then click on this blank area to lock the layer. And create a new layer by clicking on this icon. Name this layer to design. And to continue with the design process, first of all, select the ellipse tool and draw a circle by holding down the shift key. We doesn't need the fill color, so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and assign it a stroke color like this blue color. Then apply the stroke width to three points. Then select the selection tool and adjust the dimensions of this circle as per the sketch. Then go to view, select rulers, then select show rulers and drag a grid from this vertical ruler to this anchor point. Then press Z and simply zoom in this area. And now we will design the geometry of these water waves. So select the pen tool, left click once, then left click at this grid line and press enter to complete the shape. Select the selection tool, click once at this line then apply a stroke color to this blue color and select the stroke value to three points. Then select the direct selection tool and to convert this straight line into curves, simply select this anchor point and click on this icon which says convert selected anchor points to smooth. Also for this anchor point, again click on this icon. And now we will adjust the geometry of this shape by using these handles. Then simply duplicate this shape by holding down the alternate key. Then select the reflect tool. Select vertical axis and select OK. Then drag this shape at this intersection. Hold down the shift key and also select this shape. Then duplicate these shapes by holding down the alternate key. Then select the pen tool and draw a simple line at this position. Select the selection tool and select all of these shapes. Then select the shape builder tool and simply delete the unwanted parts by holding down the alternate key. Then 
select all of these shapes and simply select the value of stroke width to 27 points. Then click on this stroke and select round cap and round corner. After that, simply reduce the value of opacity to 50%. Then select the add anchor point tool and simply add an anchor at this point. Then select the direct selection tool, select this anchor point and press delete. Now it doesn't need this grid line, so simply select it and press delete. Now simply select all of these parts, go to object, select path and select outline stroke. Then select these two parts, go to windows, select pathfinder and select unite. Also these two, select unite and also for this one. This part of the design is the combination of two elements, initial letter G and water waves. And now to design actual and colored water waves, we will simply create a new layer and name it water. Then deselect all of these parts, select only this middle wave, go to edit and select copy. Then go to water layer, again go to edit and select paste in place. And to differentiate between the parts, simply change its color to something different like this red color. Now simply drag this layer at this position. Then select the pen tool and simply draw a shape that follows the geometry of this wave. Then hold down the shift key and also select this wave and select unite. Then simply reduce the opacity. And now simply place this water layer below this design layer. And increase its opacity to 100%. And to select the elements of this design layer, simply click on this blank icon and increase the opacity to 100%. Then reset the page view by pressing Ctrl plus 0. Now we will apply colors to our design. These are the colors that I created for this logo design. I have also provided the color codes so you can create these colors yourself. Now simply select the elements of this design layer by clicking on this blank area. Then select the eyedropper tool and select this dark blue color. Then select this water wave. Again select the eyedropper tool and this time select this gradient color. Now let's adjust our gradient by using this gradient tool. Then select the selection tool and simply duplicate this water design by holding down the alternate key. And to differentiate between the elements, we will simply apply a different color like this red color. Then hold down the shift key and simply select this blue water wave. Select the shape builder tool and delete the unwanted area by holding down the alternate key. Now again duplicate this shape by holding down the alternate key and drag it like this. Again at this position. Then select all of these shapes, select the shape builder tool and delete the unwanted parts by holding down the alternate key. And once you are done, simply select the selection tool, deselect all of these shapes, hold down the shift key and simply select these red water waves. Then select the eyedropper tool and simply select this light blue color. And then reduce the value of opacity to 40%. Then simply deselect all of these shapes. Select this layer and duplicate it. And for this duplicated copy, we doesn't need the fill color. So we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and apply it a stroke color like this red color. Then simply increase the value of stroke width to 3 points. Press Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area. Then select the direct selection tool and simply delete these anchor points. Once you are done, go to object, select path and select outline stroke. And again place this shape at this position. Then select the gradient tool, click on this gradient. Now we want to add a third color in the middle of this gradient. Simply left click at this position and the third color is added in this gradient. Double click on this color and select this white color. Also for this one, again select this white color and this time reduce the value of opacity to 0%. Again for this one, select white color and reduce the value of opacity to 0%. And you can see that a nice gradient is applied to this shape. Simply select this gradient layer, hold down the alternate key and drag it like this. Again, like this. And to delete these unwanted parts, simply select all of these shapes, select the shape builder tool 
and delete the unwanted parts by holding down the alternate key. Now we will continue with the design of the palm tree. Simply create another layer and name it palm tree. Simply reset the page view then press Z and zoom in this area. Before initiating the design process of this palm tree, first hide these layers. The design layer, water layer, then select the pen tool and for the design process we doesn't need the fill color. So we will cancel it by clicking on this icon and assign it a stroke color like this red color. And let's continue with the tracing of this palm tree. To get a pointy corner instead of this curve, simply hold down the alternate key and left click at this anchor point. Now it's time to create these cuts within the leaves. So click once at this position, then again click at this one. Then press enter to complete the shape. Press Z and zoom in this area. Then select the width tool and simply increase the width of this end like this. Then go to stroke and select round corner. Then go to object, select path and select outline stroke. Now let's replicate this shape to create cuts in the other leaves. Now select all of these shapes, then select the shape builder tool and delete the unwanted parts by holding down the alternate key. Now let's apply colors to this palm tree. Simply select the eyedropper tool and select this gradient. Select the gradient tool to adjust it. Now let's apply shadow effects to our palm tree. Simply press Z and zoom in this area. Select the pen tool, click once at this position, then again left click at this position. And to create the pointy corner, simply hold down the alternate key and left click at this node. Then at this position and complete the shape like this. And to differentiate between the parts, simply select the selection tool, click once and select this black color. Again select the pen tool and repeat the process for the other leaves. Select all of these shapes, then select the shape builder tool and simply delete the unwanted parts by holding down the alternate key. Select the selection tool, deselect all of these shapes and select only this one. Double click on the gradient tool, then left click on this bar, select this left side color, then select this black color and for this one, again select the black color but this time reduce the value of opacity to 0%. Then select the selection tool and reduce the value of opacity for this shape to 40%. Then select this shape and pick this gradient color. Also for the other shapes. Now let's adjust the gradient colors. Then select the pen tool, click once at this position and again click at this position and drag the shape like this. To complete the shape simply press enter. We doesn't need the fill color. So select the selection tool, click once at this and select the fill color to none. Then apply it a stroke color like this black color. Again select the pen tool and repeat the process for the other leaves. Now select the add anchor point tool and add an anchor at the middle of all of these shapes. Then select only this shape, select the width tool and slightly increase the width from this anchor point. Also for the other shapes, then hold down the shift key and select all of these black shapes. Go to object, select path and select outline stroke. Then select all of these shapes, select shape builder tool and delete the unwanted parts by holding down the alternate key. Select the selection tool, deselect all of these parts, select the pen tool and draw a shape like this. Press enter to complete it. 
then select the selection tool we doesn't need the fill so simply select it and select the fill color to none and apply it a stroke color like this blue color then select this stroke and select round corner select add anchor point tool and add an anchor at the center then select the width tool and increase the width of this line like this go to object select path and select outline stroke and now we will simply create copies of this shape now hold down the shift key and select all of these shapes press control plus 0 to set the page view then select the eye dropper tool and simply select this color and select the value of opacity to 40% then select the selection tool deselect these shapes hold down the shift key and this time select these black shapes again select the eye dropper tool and select this dark green color and reduce the value of opacity to 50% Now it's time to design these water bubbles. So simply create a new layer and name it bubbles. Select the ellipse tool and draw a simple circle by holding down the shift key. And now let's make different copies of this circle. Now select these underwater bubbles and apply this white color. And for these bubbles simply apply this blue color now we will design this shadow so create a new layer and name it shadow then select the pen tool and simply follow the geometry like this and now place this shadow layer below this design layer and enable the view of the hidden layers by clicking on this icon select the eye dropper tool and apply this dark blue color to our shadow and reduce the value of opacity to 20% and simply adjust the geometry of this shadow we are almost done with our logo design and now we will simply add different highlight effects to our logo select the design layer then select the pen tool and draw a shape We are done with the vector tracing of our logo design and now we doesn't need the sketch so we will simply hide it by clicking on this icon and now it's time to write the name of the logo select the type tool left click and write the logo name which is groovy drinks for the groovy i will simply use the font which is merry weather bold and for the drinks i want to use dancing script then go to type and select create outlines right click and select ungroup then select this letter o go to object select path and select offset path and set the value to 5 pixels then select these shapes select the shape builder tool and delete the unwanted parts by holding down the alternate key This final design is the combination of three different elements: initial letter G, water waves, and palm tree. And this is part of this logo design process from a sketch. If you think that this video helps you in some way, then like and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.